Hey everybody. Hey. Happy Friday. Mm. Time for the weekend. What am I gonna be doing? As little as I can. Happy Friday. Thank you for coming in today. See what I got going on. I want to do a quick little uh, vid for you guys. I'm trying to do as many videos as I can before I go to Atlanta in a couple of weeks. Um, so so y'all can have some stuff to look at. Um, I'm going to do some chicken tacos for you guys. Let me say hey first. First of all, if this is your first time coming to see what Rita's cooking, thank you for clicking on this video. And I hope you'll see something that you like and then you'll come back and see me again. For those of you who are my um, loyal followers, been with me this whole week that I've been in this journey, you know I love you. You know I thank you. But let's get right into this video because I don't know how long I got. I'm still on my janky equipment. Waiting on my brother. He's on his way to come out here and we're going to play with some stuff. But this is some ground chicken. Look at it. Looking just like some ground beef. Let me tell y'all something. Ground chicken takes the place of all things ground beef almost in my house. I love the texture of it. I love the way it tastes. It's so close to ground beef. I mean, I don't like the taste and the texture of ground turkey. So this, when I found this... I keep this on deck. This is ground chicken. And all I've done to this ground chicken is seasoned it with some taco seasoning. And I'm going to show you the two that I used. The chipotle taco and the regular taco. And all I added to this was some salt and pepper and some garlic powder. Okay? That's it. That's all I've got in here. It's got a very good taste with those ingredients added and you don't have to do nothing else to it okay so what i'm going to show you some versatile things that you can do with this of course you know that you can do these are for my daughter d the one i told y'all about that's quadriplegic these are for her so i'm going to just make her some regular uh soft shell tacos right i'm going to put a little sour cream right here on here while i was cutting up my incre ingredients for the taco i had these wrapped and some foil in the oven like this everything that I'm gonna be putting in using for the tacos I had everything wrapped up that's my brother calling me right while I was doing the video I had a feeling he was gonna do that I'm sorry you guys uh, but they just had them on the lowest temperature in my oven and had them sitting in there while I was cutting everything up. So what I'm going to do is do what we always do to uh, tacos. I got some shredded cheese. Right? You know, you know how I look. I got some lettuce and some cilantro. I got some tomatoes and some pico. You know, some pico de gallo, some and some tomatoes chopped up. And then I've got some sour cream and some uh, guacamole. Nothing fancy. This is just going to be real quick, okay? So to this, I'm going to put up some cheese in here. Some chicken. One spoonful is enough. But she's getting two of these, right? And this is not a small, you know, tortilla either. So she's going to be getting, it's going to be plenty for her. Some lettuce. She don't like cilantro. So I know not to even come her way. Some tomatoes. She really don't like pico either. I don't know what's wrong with that child. Then I'm just going to fold that up. You know what? I'm going to put up some picante sauce on there. Easy breezy stuff, right? This ain't nothing. J-Bug! I'm going to call my son and let him make this other one. AJ! 
Come make her another one while I show them how to do a bowl. What is family for? Paper plating it. It's Friday. Ain't nobody trying to do no dishes, right? And you'll do the same thing for a hard shell taco, right? But this is what I do to mine. Boy, <laughs> eh. Oh, what's our, what's our, what's our thing? I don't know. It's like this. Oh, no, no, I got to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's my son, yeah. That's the one who fixed, up, fixed my video for me. Now I'm going to do me. Show y'all something else that y'all can do with this. I'm going to make me a bowl, honey bunches, a bowl, honey bunches. Now this is gonna be a little bit different. This is this is the this is the the sophisticated way, the uh, the bougie way that I like to eat mine. I'm gonna use this same meat, All right? Give me a good spoonful. Y'all can find these in the store anywhere, right? It's gonna give me some down I've been there. You know, that's about up to the little line. You know, not, not a, you don't want it to be all meat, but the goal is meat. You know, you want some meat. Now, let me show you this. This is just some corn out of a can, some black beans, and add a can of Rotel. Now, I drained the corn and the beans, and I left the juice in the Rotel. I'm just going to put this right on top of the meat. Right? A couple of good spoonfuls in there. All right? Then I'm going to do the same thing. Put my little toppings on mine. Mine going to be a little different because I like everything. I'm not like my daughter. So I don't like that. I'm going to give me some cheese. Some lettuce. We still good, y'all? Yeah? yeah, we still doing good. Some tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that out the way. Now, see, I do want some pico. Honey, child. Who don't like pico? I don't rhyme with some pico. Don't like no pico, child. And I do like cilantro, but before I put my cilantro on there, I'm going to put me some... That thing's going to get hard. I'm going to get some sour cream. I'm going to get some guacamole. And I'm going to get some pico too. I made some cilantro on the top, right? Give me a couple of uh, peppers. This is what the, this is the dressing that I like to use on this. So I'm just gonna squeeze me some all the way around the perimeter. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In your tummy. Put me a couple of peppers on the top. Just like that. And this is how I'm going to eat mine. Ooh, oh, so beautiful. Isn't she lovely? Oh, made from love. Made from love. Now. So, what about tomorrow, and you got meat on meat on meat left? You know, you got some meat left. Let me tell you what you can do. To this meat, see this? This is corn, black beans, and uh, rotel. You can 
get a couple of different other kinds of beans, like a chili bean and a kidney bean. Take this, the meat that you have left over. Take you some chicken stock and get you a base and make you taco soup. And you can put that taco soup over some chips crunched up in a bowl with some cheese and use your toppings. Or you can put that, that uh, taco soup over some rice and make it like a, might be like a, uh, what do you call it, tortilla soup type of deal. And, uh, you know, have a couple of different options so you don't get bored. Even with this, somebody could come in here and get them two cups of this ground beef. I mean ground beef. See there? Ground chicken. That's how much it tastes just like ground beef. Ground chicken and make them some soup if they wanted to because we got almost everything we need i like a different like different beans in my in my taco soup uh more rotel you know you could put some stewed tomatoes in there just make you a soup out of the 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 uh, ground chicken that you have left over and um my husband's gonna eat his uh he wants uh what do you call it pork shells so I got some hard shells over here too. For him. Uh, you know how to make it. Y'all use these, uh, the kind that stand up. I like the kind that stand up. Same thing, you know, we're just gonna fill it. I try to put, I like to put, um, the uh on the hard shells i like to put the the uh a little bit of this uh sour cream kind of like in the sides like this just like spread it in the sides like this and you'll get it in every bite that way just a little trick down at the bottom and on the sides like that like you're spreading it And then build it the same way I did with the other two different kinds. And so that's it for me. I just wanted to come in here, pop in here, say, hey, happy Friday. Hope you have a blessed weekend, a safe weekend. And um, I don't know if I'll be back later on just playing with uh, my equipment with my brother, testing out some stuff or not. But I did want to give you a quick little video just in case you might want some tacos tonight. You know, you young folks, y'all still thinking of figuring it out. Me, I got to eat and be done through eating by 9 o'clock. I'll, I'll be all messed up, heartburn, all kinds of stuff, child. The older you get, you will understand. Ask your mama now, they'll tell you. But anyway, I was just popping in to say hey to y'all. I'm going to fix my husband some hard shell tacos. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Thank you for coming. If you like me, tell somebody. And, uh... Hit, make sure you have uh, hit the notification bell so when I put something on here, uh, you, you'll make, you won't miss no videos. You don't want to miss no videos because you don't never know when I might pop up on y'all. Eh, eh. Tacos, tacos, taco Friday. I don't think it should be no taco Tuesday because I don't really be that hype on Tuesday. Anyway, see y'all on the next one. Bye. When we see what Rita's cooking. Oh, let me start over. See you on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Bye. <laughs>